Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting and useful tool that you can use to check your Ansible playbooks. So we are going to see about Ansible Lint. What is Ansible Lint? How to install, how to use it? And we will also see how can this tool check your playbook files for the syntax, the configurations, and can also check the roles, etc. And then how can we check the suggestions given by Ansible Lint. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let's get started. So Ansible Lint is a command line tool that we can use to check our playbooks and it checks the playbooks on the syntax, the common issues, best practices, roles, etc. And it is completely free and open source. Now let us see how to use it. So step number one will be we have to install Ansible Lint and for that Ansible should already be installed on your system so you can check by running the command Ansible version. So I am here on my system. So uh, in my earlier sessions I installed Ansible on a CentOS Linux machine and I am inside that machine now. If you are on any system where you have installed Ansible you can run the command Ansible space hyphen hyphen version and when you hit enter if you get the Ansible version that means Ansible is already installed on your system. Okay, now next we will install Ansible Lint and for this uh, you can use the command based on your operating system. If you are using a Red Hat CentOS based Linux system you can say sudo yum install Ansible Lint. If you are using a Ubuntu Debian based Linux environment we can say sudo apt install Ansible Lint or if you are using any other uh, operating system like Windows, Mac or any other system we should be able to use pip install. If you are uh, having pip, you can say pip install or pip2 install. So you can check the version of pip by saying pip hyphen hyphen version or pip2 hyphen hyphen version. So in this case, on my Linux system, it is not there. And in case you have installed Ansible using pip, uh, Python and pip, then you can use pip install Ansible Lint as well. So in my case, I am using a CentOS Linux operating system so I should be able to run this command sudo yum install ansible lint so let us see okay so I will run sudo yum install ansible hyphen lint and this will download and install ansible lint I will say yes and it will download and install the package and now it is done I will clear my terminal and to check I can say ansible hyphen lint hyphen hyphen version this will show me the version of ansible lint so you can see it is now installed so here we have already done step number three we have checked the version of ansible lint and that completes the steps to install ansible lint now we can check the commands the sub commands that we can use with ansible lint by using the hyphen hyphen help option with the command ansible lint so if i say ansible hyphen lint if i press uh, if i say ansible hyphen l and press tab on my keyboard it is auto completing the name and if i say hyphen hyphen help you can see it gives us all the commands sub commands so all the options we can use so hyphen hyphen version we can use to check the version uh, then we can use hyphen l to list all the rules and uh, all these things we can do with ansible lint uh, ansible lint and these are the sub commands so let us say uh, if i say ansible lint hyphen l and you can see i get the rule list so all the rules I get here so this will be handy when you check your playbook with ansible lint and you get some suggestion or you get some particular number that this particular rule is not fulfilled then you can always run this command hyphen l with the command ansible lint to check what rule is broken or not proper in your playbook file so i will clear the terminal and now let us run this command on our playbook so if you have any playbook you can go to the folder of that playbook on the terminal or on your command line and then run the command ansible lint and the name of your playbook let me see if i have any uh, playbooks here i am inside my 
Ansible, I will go to my Ansible project folder. As of now, it's empty. So wherever you have your playbook, you can, you know, go there. I have to create some playbook. So I will say touch playbook one dot YML, YML, and it is created. Now I will edit the playbook by using a VI editor. I'm on Linux, so I'm using VI. You can use any option based on your operating system. So and see, I am auto completing this. So when I say VI and say play and hit tab, it is auto completing the name. And if I hit enter, I get this editor. I will press I on my keyboard to go to the insert mode. And now I will copy the uh, playbook data here. And in my case, uh, I had some playbooks earlier in one of our earlier sessions. We created this playbooks. Yeah, this is the one for installing and starting Apache web server. And then this is a hello world playbook. Let me uh, take anyone from this. Let me take this one. I will copy and paste it here. Uh, I think it has some syntax issues. I will press escape on my keyboard and colon and Q that is quit and exclamation mark. So I'm quitting without writing or without saving. If I say cat playbook one dot YAML, there is nothing written here. So let me check this. I can uh, check some online YAML formatter or maybe Ansible playbook formatter uh, or I can just remove the extra spaces. So I think this is the one I have without the extra spaces. Let me again say vi playbook.yml and type i on the keyboard. It goes in the insert mode. And now I will copy and yes, this looks fine. So I will press escape key on my keyboard and then I will press colon. WQ means write and quit and I will press exclamation mark and hit enter. Now if I check the playbook, cat playbook, it is here. All right. So now I have a playbook. I can run the Ansible lint here. So I will say Ansible lint and the playbook and hit enter. So you can see it says a 403 rule package install should not use latest. And if I now I can also use the hyphen V to increase the verbosity of the output. So it says examining playbook and the, this is the same thing. Now again, if you have to check what rule is broken or what is uh, something that is can be improved in your playbook. This is 403. So I will say Ansible lint hyphen L to check the rule list. And you can see 403 package install should not be latest package install should use state equals present with or without a version. So here the state instead of latest we should use present so you can see this is the problem here the state should we should use present instead of latest also you can just go online and search for ansible list rules uh, sorry ansible lint rules and this will take you to the ansible lint website so, so this is the github and you can also see the docs here so this is the github page for ansible lint you can read about this and this is the doc site visit the ansible lint doc site which will take you here and here is where you can see the details about the rules so if i check for package you can see package latest is here so if i go here package latest I can see the details. So here you can see this is a prob problematic code where we are using state latest where we want to install the latest package and the correct code is state present. This is what we should use in our playbook files. Let me try with one more playbook. I'm going to uh, add this hello world play playbook. I will copy this. I will say touch hello world playbook.yml vi hello world playbook.yml i save this copy and paste escape colon 
राइट क्विट डब्ल्यू क्यू एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क जस्ट टू चेक कैट द फाइल इट इज़ देयर एंड नाउ आई विल से एनसीबल लिंट हेलो वर्ल्ड प्ले बुक हाइफन वी एंड दिस लुक्स ऑल फाइन यू कैन सी एग्जामिंग हेलो वर्ल्ड प्ले बुक एंड दे इज नथिंग सजेस्टेड एंड नो रूल इज ब्रोकन ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन चेक आवर प्ले बुक फाइल्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन हाउ इट चेक्स फॉर ऑल द कॉन्फिग्रेशन सिंटेक्स रोल्स एक्सेट्रा एंड वी कैन सी द रूल लिस्ट टू सी द एरस एंड वॉट इज सजेस्टेड एंड दिस इज द लिंक फॉर द एनसीबल लिंट documentation where we can see the details of the rules okay so you can take a screenshot of the screen and keep it handy with you and i hope this was very useful if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning